Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to more Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts the last episode. We did a nice long eventful open hunt to track down a bunch of animals and I got some tips from some of my viewers to purchase. Let's see here. Let me go to this. The moose and the elk calls because they help out a lot. So thank you guys for that. I greatly appreciate it. So let's see. A deer call. Okay. Elk. Question, does that work on the caribou? Because I don't know. Maybe it's just elk, but... Yeah, I don't see any, like, caribou call. Maybe that could be meant for deer, but I don't know. It doesn't say that it's effective with that, but it could help, though. So, I'll get a deer call, and I'll get a moose call. So we'll go ahead and equip those. I like the scent mask. And, wait, let me see what hunts we have. Okay. Um. Ooh. We got, we can hunt a bear. Ooh. Okay. Um. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me go back to my backpack. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and equip those. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off by doing a uh, bear hunt. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start off with that. But before we get into this, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say that my YouTube channel has hit 550 subscribers, so I just want to thank each and every one of you so much for supporting my channel and enjoying my content. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. With that being said, let's get right on into the action, and it looks like they want to see you hit 12 gauge. I'll do that. Why not? Okay. Bird shot. And I'll use the slow grounds as well. Perfect. Okay, I think we're ready now. Let's do this. 7,500 reward for getting the bear. Alright. I'd probably say the best one is to use the slow ground on these guys. Because slow grounds tend to be more long range, especially if we want to keep our distance. And I don't have a bear call, so we're going to have to just be stealthy on this one. <clears throat> and get as close as we possibly can. So let's see what we can do. Kitty is joining me for the hunt. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's see. Get down. No, get down. I wish I had my other gun with me. I wonder if this is allowed. Uh, probably not. But, wait. Which, which way is the wind? Okay, it's blowing against me. Stand perfectly still. Just as a bonus one. Oh, no. That was close, but Too low. still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure a clean shot. That probably scared off all the animals around me. Except for you guys. Okay, shh. Calm down. That might have been too high, but I wanted to try. And that kind of rhymed. Spine shot. That's... Yes. Woo! Maybe both. What a shot. Okay, let me switch to the other rounds for now. What a shot, guys. Great way to start off. And we racked up some points. And this is supposed to be a bear hunt. Speaking of which. Okay. Um. Let's see. I suppose we could try near the water. Alright, let's go. I really do want to use those uh, deer calls, though. So hopefully we'll get a hunt where we can. I, I'm going to test it out, too. Maybe even in an open hunt, we could try doing that. I think that'd be good. Hold on. Another one down. Nice. Okay. 
I did remember there you could get shotgun kills with on some of these some of these guys. Okay. Woo! We're on a roll right now, man. I'm doing like a one-shot reload. Okay. I don't know if there's a bear over this hill, but... Might be one over there. Let's set... Let's, uh... Let's investigate. Because I do know that bears can smell you from, like, what, three to five miles away? Bears have a very strong, keen sense of smell. So. Yeah, pretty hard to get close to one when... It's pretty hard to get close to one when they can sense you from that far away. Unless, of course, you have a scent cover. But it has to be a really strong, pot potent scent cover, as far as I know. Shh. Hey, little fox. Not right now. That doesn't sound like a... That doesn't sound like a bear. I see tracks. Keep an eye on the wind. You don't want to be caught up wind of your prey. Uh, those don't look like bear tracks. I only have three hours? Okay. I don't wanna... I don't wanna go off course. I wanna stay focused on the bear. So, let's keep moving. I'm just gonna move along the coastline since they seem to really like to hang out here. I mean, it makes sense they like to hang out down by the water, so... Bear tracks. Perfect. Let's track him, boys. Let's go get him. I could probably shoot those guys, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna spend my time doing that, and I wanna stay focused on the bear. Yeah, I prefer to not make too much noise. seeing anything. Alright, let's just run for now. Going through the marsh.
I don't know if this is gonna count. Nope. Wait. Wins against me, but hopefully this is my target. These tracks seem to be getting older, but there must be a bear over here. The tracks seem to be more fresh back there because it was only 30 to 45 minutes ago. That's a bear. Oh, that is definitely a bear. Are these his tracks? I was just hoping for it, guys. Oh my gosh, we are so close to him. Oh no. Oh, ouch. But didn't hit any organs, not even the gut. That was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure- No! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude! That's a shame. Oh, come on. Sloppy shooting and painful too, yeah. You think? <sighs> right. A shame. Sloppy shooting and painful too. Be quiet! Be quiet, dude. I'm trying to focus. Hit him! Oh, right in the butt. Ouch. Okay, he has to be dead. Do you know how many sh Do you know how many shots that is? Sloppy shooting and painful too. Next time wait till your target stops and make sure your target. Dude, I thought he was gonna charge after me. Dang. That's so many shots. Oh, he's going slow. Really? Okay, yeah, we shot him a bunch of times. Dude, that for he was charging at us. I thought we were dead. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's see how we did. We got him, boys. We hit him. We were so close on hitting him in some vital spots, but kept missing. But we put so many bullets into him that he he went down. But we did it. We completed the hunt. <coughs> oh, we got some extra credits because we took out a... Caribou. Okay, thank you. Oh, and we took out a few foxes with the shotgun. Okay. Oh, that counts as well. Nice. Alright. That's one mission down. Not too shabby, my friends. I'd say we have time for maybe one more. Why not? Whew. That was fun. Okay. Um. What do they want? They want the recurvo. Should we try it? Let's at least give it a try. Why not? Oh, we can buy that? Nice. These letters specifically designed heads that increase your chances of hitting small tar- oh, for the small targets. Hmm. Okay. 
That looks fine. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let me change it to these. And then... Every hunter has serious... That has seriously pursued elk owns a bugle call. And though most will spend countless hours perfecting their calling skills, it doesn't necessarily take an expert to bring a quality bull in. Time your calls right and arm yourself with a little patience. It always pays off. We'll go and buy it. I don't think this is going to work on the caribou, but I want to try. If not, then I'll try the deer call. But I think it would make sense more to use the deer call, but instead of the elk call. But you know what? Hold on. Before we do that, let me test it out on one of these guys. Oh, okay, that requires the bolt action and the shotgun. Okay. Alright, let's just give it a go, see what we can do. We've been tracking a small herd of caribou not far from here. The herd bull in charge is called Double Shovel around these parts. He's yours if you can take it. He lives up to his name, too. Rack like a snowplow. Getting a shot at him won't be easy. Caribou are always on the move, and they usually travel in large numbers. You're gonna need patience, smarts, and good timing to get a good shot at Double Shovel. Alright. Compared to a bullet, yep. So fast, moving targets must be led. Except, ooh, dang it, I didn't get to read it all. That's okay, though. Your aim is more stable when you're in a prone position. That's good. Makes sense. It's kind of like Call of Duty. Your shot's going to be a little more on point if you're laying down. Oh, boy. We picked out a pinch point by a river where we've seen other herds cross. If you dog it too long, though, you're going to miss your chance. The setup here is real simple. Get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's going to make your approach tricky, but there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down double shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck. That's him. Alright, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna try to get to that tower if I can. Don't look at me. Okay, I hope this is set up well to the point where I can hopefully be able to get what I need. I don't think the call is going to work in this level, but we're trying it, right? It already has my target tagged. Okay.
thing I got the 600 grain arrowhead. Quickly now, find your target. You don't have much time. Aim carefully now. Don't release until you know it's a sure shot. I hope that was a good shot, guys. That was not a good shot. Ooh, just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Gotta hit him in a prime spot. <gasps> oh. Dang. Come on, man. Get down. This arrow is supposed to take them down quickly. <gasps> oh. Come on. That's going to miss. Wow. Come on, baby. I think that was off, too. Right in between the legs? Oh my gosh. I think I only have one arrow left after this. Or that might have been the last one. I don't know. Did I get him? That Looks like you've run out of ammo. You need to be more careful with your shots in the future or equip some extra rounds. That was my last arrow. We got him, boys! Wow, first try? Whoo! That was double shovel. And didn't get him in the best spot I would have liked, but we got him. Alright. Woo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that... That was awesome. We finished a pro hunt in this episode. Didn't need to use the alcohol. I guess that's better for some of the other hunts, not really a pro hunt. <clears throat> but that's okay. Way to go. You handled yourself like a pro out there. Well, he learned from the best. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Those snowplow antlers are going to look great hanging on your wall. Hmm. <laughs> Bet. Nice character animation. Dang, guys. All right, we... Completed a pro hunt. Sweet, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a while until we get to that one. Eventually we will, though. Oh, we're gonna need a semi-auto and a moose call, which we do have. Alright. Not too shabby, my friends. So, next time, we will do these caribou hunts. I'll try using the different calls to hopefully lure them in closer. If not, that's okay. We can use stealthy tactics to bring them in as well. As well as these, uh, what are you going? These deer hunts? Okay. Oh, we need the deer call for that too. Okay. The nice thing is we'll be able to use the call at different points for some of these hunts. That should help us out a lot. But I'd say that was a very successful episode. We took down a bear along with a caribou extra with a shotgun. And we took down double shovel with the re recurve bow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.